And I'm Eric Elkin. ABC 7 with breaking news. A Walmart in Northeast El Paso is abruptly closing temporarily. The store says it's for disinfection. This is the location on 5631 Dyer. ABC 7's Will Heron joins us now live from that location. And Will, what's the latest you've learned? Eric, now this store is going to be closed for the next two days. A spokesperson told us it'll be opening up possibly on Sunday, but they gave us no really more specifics on what was going on. Now, if you look behind me over here, this Walmart is normally packed with people. Around 6 o'clock, families are getting off work. They're picking up food uh, to make dinner with, and they may be stocked up for the whole weekend, so they have to go back out. But as you can tell, there's no one there. If you can look, we're trying to get a shot. That truck may be in the way, but there in that entryway, there are people with vests. Now, as soon as you get near... They send you away, they send you back to your car, and, and away you go. And as you can see, it's real dead, and people are leaving now. Our crews got this video earlier this afternoon. All other El Paso area Walmart stores appear to remain in operation as usual. This afternoon, in a statement, the retail giant stated El Paso's new spike of coronavirus cases as the reason for the temporary closure. A spokesperson said, quote, we want to be a part of the solution to help keep our store safe for associates and customers. When the store reopens Sunday morning, we will continue to conduct daily health screenings and temperature checks of every associate before every shift and providing masks and gloves to all the associates. Now, in recent days, Mayor Dean Margo had said that the retail stores are some of the biggest spreaders of the virus in the city. Now, a spokesperson said from Walmart that they're going to be working very closely with city health officials to try and keep the community safe. Here in Northeast El Paso, in front of the Walmart, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.